So I had a video idea today, and that video idea is to try and recreate the YouTube layout in DaVinci Resolve and make a small little animation out of it, where there's a mouse cursor and I click on a video and it opens up. And I'm gonna give myself one minute, 10 minutes, and a whole hour to make that animation. So without further ado, let's start. All right, so I'm gonna give myself one minute for this one. So uh, yeah, three, two, one, go. All right, so fusion composition, drag. Why is it loading? Why is it taking forever? Fusion composition, let's go. Uh, background, make it white. Oh, please hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Uh, add text, or oh, I'm shaking so much. No! Oh my God, only 30 seconds left. Okay. Uh, well, maybe I have time just to make the layout a little bit. So, um... Oh, uh, come on. Duplicate... <laughs> oh my god. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, well, so that was a minute. Obviously, I couldn't really do much in Fusion on that one. So, uh, yeah. I couldn't even change the settings in the duplicate node as quick as I wanted to because I was just rushing so much. So, um, yeah. Next one. Ten minutes. Three, two, one, go. All right. So, no, not that. Fusion composition. I'm gonna make it this long, maybe. And uh, 10 minutes. I don't really think I have that much time to download the photos on my thumbnails, but yeah. Make a background. It'll be quick here. Uh, I'm just gonna do this. Make the rectangle. And now I'm pretty sure that I do have time to download the YouTube logo. That's a PNG. It's good enough. I can crop out the music part. So I'm gonna save this. Drag it down in here. And I'm going to actually, uh, I can turn down the size and put the logo just in the corner like that. And I think I even also have enough time to make the top border part. And I'm also going to put the logo in this media in so that I can actually crop out just the YouTube part. So it's just like that. And now I'm going to make the videos part. Just going to crop it to size like this. Put it in there just like that. And then I'm going to go to effects. Add a duplicate node. Off. Oh, duplicate. Oh, he was already there. Alright, so I'm gonna make four copies. I'm just gonna make, say, four. Move the center this way. And then after that, I'm gonna add a background node right here. And then I'm gonna make this a uh, very light color. Drag down a rectangle node, move it up there, turn down the height. And I'm just making the search bar right now. And in that search bar, I think I'm gonna drag down a text node, some text in the search bar. And there's some tips. Just like that. Oh, Andrew's video lips. What the heck? Tips. The aerial font. Oh my god. It's already five minutes. Put that in the search bar, just like that. And then I'm going to make the mouse cursor. So I want to make an animation, right? So to make an animation, I'm just going to drag down a background node. It's going to automatically make the merge node for you. And then I'm going to drag down a polygon node. And I'm just going to draw the basic cursor. So the cursor is going to be similar to what I did in that video that I made before. I basically have a fake video editor that I made completely in Fusion. And this is the shape of the cursor, just like that. And now you can see it's a mouse cursor. I'm also gonna be nice and give it a shadow, just like that, so it's easier to see. And then I'm just gonna add a transform node. I'm gonna shrink it down, and I'm just gonna make a basic animation. So I'm gonna put a keyframe on center after I moved it down on frame zero. I'm gonna go to uh, frame 20, move it up to one of these gray boxes here, and then I'm gonna go to frame 50, and then I'm gonna move this back down. And uh, this mouse cursor is gonna be one of the last things. And the reason why I want it to be one of the last things is because I wanted the mouse cursor to be on the top over anything else, just like how it normally is. So I'm gonna add a merge node. I'm going to import a video of mine. I'm just gonna import it like this. And this is the actual video that I have made. It's my previous video. I recommend you go ahead and watch it. And then I'm gonna put it in here. And then I'm just gonna have media in one. Come in at 20 seconds, just like that. And then I'm just gonna change the transform node. So on frame 20, it's going to uh, start sizing up. So size one, center 0 0.5, 0 0.5, just like that. I'm gonna change the spine of the animation, ease in, just so it's like nice and smooth. And then uh, I'm just gonna add the finishing touches on the mouse cursor and boom, done, 10 minutes. So this is the 10 minute animation right here. So I obviously had a lot more time to just refine the animation and just do more things in it. So yeah, let's move on to the full hour. So let's do this, three, two, one, go. So fusion composition, obviously. I'm gonna make it about 10 seconds. Go into the fusion composition, drag down a background node. 
So what I did in the one hour version was, for the first couple of minutes I was just busy trying to recreate the YouTube layout. I was adding the images, the shape layers, and the text, and then I was just adding everything that was necessary to recreate the YouTube layout. So normally, if I scroll down, this background node is not big enough and it just ends right there. So to expand the background node, I'm just going to drag down a transform node right here. And I'm just going to turn up the size to 5.0. And now if I change the transform node, now you can see that I, I'm actually able to scroll this down without having the edge of the background node appear. So, so now I'm going to make the mouse cursor which shows up over top of everything. So I'm going to drag this down. I'm going to add a transform node, make the size really small, like this. And now I'm just going to animate the transform node. So the first 30 frames is going to be me scrolling down, and then, and then at the frame 30, the cursor is going to start animating. So I'm going to put a keyframe on center, go to frame 50, and then I'm going to drag the mouse cursor here. I'm also going to drag it up here, because I'm going to scroll it down. And then I'm going to go to frame 90, and then I'm going to put the mouse cursor right in here, in the other corner. So now, now the mouse cursor has been animated, so now it goes from the corner, goes up there, and then goes down there. And I actually moved this to frame 77, because last one was a little bit slow, so I moved it forward a little bit. So now I'm going to do the scrolling. So I'm going to stop the scrolling at frame 25, so I'm going to add a center keyframe, I'm going to go to frame 0, and then add another keyframe, and then I'm going to go to the last keyframe, and then increase the Y value a little bit, so now it's, so now it's like that. So now you can see that it scrolls, so you can see it's scrolling, and then when it stops scrolling, the mouse cursor goes up, and then it clicks on the video, and then the mouse cursor goes back down. So how I'm going to make the video show up is I'm going to actually drag this back, like this, I'm going to move that there, and I'm actually going to import the video that the mouse cursor clicked on, so it's this one right here, and I'm just going to drag it down like this. I'm going to set the hold first frame to 50, because that's when the video starts. And also, since the media in goes a little bit slow, because this composition is in 30 FPS, and the media in is in 60 FPS, obviously I gotta add a speed control node, and then change the speed to around 2. So what I'm envisioning in this animation is, you know Windows 8, the animation of opening apps? I kind of want it to be similar to that, where you basically just have the image just pop up, and just do a 360, and then have it full screen. So now, let's watch the animation. And I actually got it done in under an hour too. And you can see that it's actually a much better animation than both the 10 minutes and the 1 minute animation, which I barely had any time to do anything. So if I were to rate the 1 minute version, I would rate it a 1 out of 10. It's not even a half finished. If I were to rate the 10 minute one, it'd be like a 5 out of 10. I mean, the 10 minute one is just like any other generic motion graphics out there for YouTube. And if I were to rate the 1 hour one, to be honest, that would be a 7 out of 10. I didn't really put the titles of the videos and other details like that, which would have taken me even more time to do. But yeah. So I really, really hope you enjoyed this video. If you loved it, please subscribe. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Bye!